Hey YouTube, it's ICU and welcome to the 16th episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. Recently, there's been a lot of news about WWDC. For those of you that don't know, it stands for Worldwide Developer Conference. And this year's conference is set to take place on June 6th at Moss Cone Center, which Apple is already prepping for their event. Now in the past, Apple has always demonstrated their latest software achievements. And prior to this year's event, they have showcased the latest version of the iPhone. Now, now, there has been a lot of speculation that this year's event will not be host to the latest iPhone. So we'll just have to wait and see as far as that goes, but it has been confirmed that Steve Jobs will be showcasing iOS 5, OS X Lion, and their new service called iCloud. The iCloud service will allow users to download and listen to their music on basically any device that can sync to Apple's cloud-based servers. And it's rumored to be an add-on to their already existing mobile me services. And according to the LA Times, iCloud will be free at first, however after the trial period has expired, users will be required to pay $25 per year, which actually is a very small fee to enjoy cloud-based streaming and downloading. And this is the alleged iCloud icon and logo. iOS 5 is also rumored to have deep Twitter integration. Now by this I mean that it could possibly feature things like a Twitter widget, photo and video sharing via Twitter, as well as as notifications specifically designed for Twitter. Apple also released a new patch for Mac users this week that addressed the Mac Defender virus and it also updated Mac security overall. Less than 24 hours after the patch was made public, hackers updated and pushed out a new version of Mac Defender that can still penetrate the Mac OS X security system. Now it isn't that hard to actually avoid it. You cannot get a virus on a Mac simply by going to a website or by downloading something. You have to actually download it, install it, and put in your password when it asks for you. And typically you can tell, especially because some of the screenshots that we've seen in the past actually say Mac Defender at the top. Now this claims to be an antivirus solution for Macs. However, it is secretly a virus that will infect your Mac. So if you're trying to install something and it doesn't look quite right, just be sure to not enter your password. Because if you don't enter your password, then it cannot take over your system. In jailbreak news, I Hate Snow, who is also the developer of a popular jailbreak utility known as Snowbreeze, pushed out iFaith. Now, I made a video on it yesterday, and you can check out that video down below in the more info, and iFaith actually allows users to back up their SHSH blobs on whatever firmware their device is currently running. So before iFaith, you could only back up the SHSH files that Apple is still signing. Now, as most of you know, Apple quit signing previous firmwares when they release new ones. So like for instance, right now, they do not sign SHSH files for iOS 4.2.1. Now, if you do have iFaith and you have a device on 4.2.1, then you can back up your SHSH files for 4.2.1 with this new system that I Hate Snow has developed. Now, you might be asking why that's important. Well, you actually need your SHSH files, also known as SHSH blobs, in order to downgrade to that specific firmware. And the SHSH blobs are device specific, so you cannot use SHSH files that belong to another device. So this is a really awesome some piece of software and it is an essential for all jailbreakers. Now moving away from Apple and jailbreak news, a touch-based tile-centered version of Windows 8 was demoed this week and tablets powered by ARM processors running this version of Windows 8 were also demonstrated. And finally, it appears that Sony was hacked once again. This time their Sony Pictures website was hacked by a team known as Lulzsec. Now over 1 million accounts were compromised and the hackers now have their home addresses, passwords, email addresses, and birthdays. In addition to Sony's users data, the hackers were also able to retrieve 3.5 million music coupons as well as 75,000 music codes. So for the question of the day, let me know down below in the comment section how many more times you think Sony will be hacked and if you think this will hurt Sony's image considering they've already been hacked in the past. So I hope you guys liked this video please remember to rate it up if you did and hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release a new video so again I hope you guys like this video and until next time this is ICU signing out